Well, uh, my name is Leon. I am an instructor, a penetration tester, and the offensive team leader at HackerU. We're an Israeli company responsible for training the cybersecurity frontier of Israel and as well as the rest of the world. We're the most, um, we're the most known uh, educational center for cybersecurity in Israel, training many companies both in-house and around the world as well. Uh, cybersecurity and AI have a very close connection, being both very progressive and advancing rapidly in latest years. Now, cyber, now cybersecurity and AI's current relationship is more on the defensive side, where we implement artificial intelligence to classify and identify threats before we I, before they are executed on our environment. Now, in future years, we might also see this relationship on the offensive side, where artificial intelligence is used to create more advanced attacks which are able to target certain organizations and become more covert and more concealed by the usage of artificial intelligence. They could prepare by studying the field, knowing and understanding what are the threats to come. In order to well prepare, you need to know what you're expecting and what are the possibilities out there. The best way to stay prepared for an attack is to remain educated and always know what's going out in the world. Uh, the key takeaways were that we are using AI mostly for the defensive sides and we've achieved amazing things. But there are the possibility that we will encounter more advanced threats that use artificial intelligence. By combining the two and taking people who know both artificial intelligence and cybersecurity will be able to advance in a way where AI will be used not only to attack but also to predict new threats before they emerge. Well, there is a gap in both fields. Mainly the gap is in the cybersecurity world where the demand only grows by the day worldwide. There are people who are good at cybersecurity and there are people who are good at artificial intelligence and machine learning, but there are a small amount of people who actually combine the two. The way to progress it is by learning from one another, is to take people who are good with that analytics and artificial intelligence and teach them cybersecurity, as well as take cybersecurity research and address it to artificial intelligence. The other trends in the world of cybersecurity, likely IoT devices. New components which are entering every device we use day by day, making our lives easier, but also opening new vectors of attack and new vulnerabilities possible if improperly secured. I believe that aside from artificial intelligence, we'll be seeing an increase, a growing increase in attacks against IoT, as well as security implementations for this world. by developing in the same way that computers develop. Computers developed in a manner that they were unsecured at first and then new security layers were added. IoT devices can use secure communication, challenge, uh, secure communication channels, can use um, encryption in order to encrypt the data on the IoT, can be restricted from access by direct contact and leaving serial ports open to the world to investigate. There are measures that could be applied to secure IoT devices and it's simply a matter of doing so. Well, first of all, it is a huge field that needs to be studied and needs to be investigated. It not, and it not ends up with a simple Google search and reading a few articles. It's something that you need to study, you need to put your effort into it, and it's something you need to practice. I know no person that has achieved a great knowledge of cybersecurity without getting his hands on it, practicing and studying the material thoroughly. Uh, I actually have a great time. Uh, it's been a great audience and very excited talk. <laughs>